is popping up from the corner there on the back. Let me go ahead and see if I can get this all the way off. There we go. All right, it's popping out and oh boy, what in the world? Okay, so I guess our main circuit board is attached to that back plane there. As you can see, we've got a massive capacitor there. <laughs> what in the world? All right, so wires attached. The first thing you really notice here is our rock chip RK3036G, which I looked it up and the processor is from 2017. Looks like it's just a standard processor that you see in a lot of uh, little computer applications like this. And then of course here in the bottom, you have another wire going to our two USB ports on the back. But guys, I like this design. It's kind of clever how the, the circuit board is mounted to the back plane, but let's go ahead and put that to the side and take a look at the inside of this thing. So first thing I really want to look at is our top piece here. So there is just basically one little, actually it looks like a 3D printed just see-through green there up top. And then right below it is a few LEDs, which you might can see right in there. But next thing you notice back there is another circuit board, which just mounts to the front and has our, you know, our three buttons right here. Then right below that, we have our big boy speaker right here, which is, is impressive how large this thing is and honestly kind of explains why it sounds pretty solid. Like it's, it's, it's a pretty good speaker. I'd say it's on par with most other just average Bluetooth speakers on the market. 